guys, gals, and non-binary pals, GM Potter here, and for the 13 spooky books of October, today we are doing another Clive Barker. We are doing, oop, it's in the way of my light, The Great and Secret Show. Uh, this one is actually not a horror novel. It, it, it has some horror aspects to it, but it's actually a fantasy book, and it's the first book in a trilogy um, called The Art Trilogy. Um, it's very interesting. Um, weird like all of Clive Barker's it gets a little weird but it's very good so let's get into it so this book came out in 1989 it is almost as old as I am and <laughs> and Barker has said that it is the hardest of his books to write so on the inside cover here uh, we've got Armageddon begins with the murder of in the dead letter office in Omaha, Nebraska, a lake that has never existed falls from the clouds over Paloma Grove, California. Young passion blooms as the world withers with war. The great and secret show has begun on the stage of the world, and soon the final curtain must fall. So, kind of cool, kind of interesting. Um, I like the back cover here. It's, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Let me get in the light. Um, it's kind of that marbled effect that you have on older books, but it's faces. It's all the characters in the book, which is kind of really cool. So, this one is um, about a secret society called the Shoal that practices a dark magic called the Art. Um, our main character, Randolph Jaffe, uh, wants to gain control over the Dream Sea. Uh, which is called Quiddity. Uh, even though mortals can only go there three times, he wants to control it, he wants to rule it, he wants to go back. Um, the three times that mortals can go there is the first dream outside the womb, uh, the first dream you have next to your true love, and the last sleep you ever take. So, um, he, he learns about it, he wants to go there, he wants to control it, he wants to do all of these nefarious and bad person things. Um, Jaffe also recruits uh, a man named Fletcher to create a drug that'll get him there, but Fletcher realizes that Jaffe is evil, and the two fight and end up killing each other. And then the story gets weird. Um, our two main characters are dead. And their spirits and their ghosts. Uh, trigger warning, this book does contain um, S.A. and R., as well as unaliving people obviously, and it's got, um, it's, it's, it's not a violent book, but it's not not a violent book, if that makes sense. Hallucinations, there's armies of the undead, there's tears in the fabric of reality, it's a very, it's dark fantasy, but I would say that it's more a cerebral fantasy than like a wizard's kind of fantasy, although there are magic users in the book. Like, that's a very heavy, heavy aspect to the book. It's just weird. It's less horror than I was expecting. Um, it started, it, it was stocked in the horror section at my local used bookstore where I bought it. Um, but it's just, it's just weird. It's worth reading. It's worth rereading. Um, it is more than a little rough, especially in some places. So I understand if people aren't wanting to read it or if they're hesitant towards reading it. Um, it's got some interesting praise for it, though. Uh, the New York Times called it elusive and mythic, complex and entertaining, which I agree with. Um, I, I, I read it and I'm still not sure I understand everything that happened in it. Um, perhaps I need to read the next two books in the series. I'll let you know if I do. Um, Time Magazine called it rich and absorbing, the images are vivid, the asides incisive, and the prose elegant in this joyride of a story. It's... It's very odd, and it's... It's just, it's just a weird one. Like, I'll be rereading it in the future, I'm sure, because it's a world that I will want to go back to, but I don't know if I want to go back there anytime soon. Because, like I said, it is rough in places. It does have S.A. and R. and, um, and S. Unaliving S. And it's got all sorts of things that are very hard for me personally to read about. To, to Because for me, books are very much... My brain thinks this is happening. Which is weird because I love horror. So you'd think that I wouldn't be able to, to stomach horror. But I... 
it, it's kind of my safe space because I know on some level that it's not happening but with fantasy and with genres that aren't horror that aren't over the top and this one isn't very over the top at least in most places it's a little more it's a little more real for me while I will read it again I will probably not read it again anytime soon um that being said have you read any Clive Barker did you read the damnation game the hellbound heart did you like the art series let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one happy spooky season bye